let's look at what do we mean by terms of a polynomial so if we have a polynomial for example negative x square plus 3x plus 3 now here negative x square is a term plus 3x is a term and plus 3 is another term so a term is nothing but a constant multiplied with a variable and raised to the power something so the variable is raised to an exponent so this forms a term of a polynomial for example if you look at the first term of this expression that is negative x square I can write it as minus 1 times x to the power 2 so this is one term of this polynomial while the second term here is 3 times x to the power 1 and the third that is the constant term is nothing but 3 into x to the power 0 so here the constant term that is multiplied to the variable is known as the coefficient this constant term is known as the coefficient of this particular term so the coefficient of x square in this polynomial is negative 1 while the coefficient of x in this polynomial is 3 I hope you are clear about what terms are and what are the coefficients of those terms if you are curious enough you would have noticed that even 3 is a polynomial because 3 can be written as 3 into x to the power 0 and it is a polynomial so all real numbers can be written as a polynomial and they are known as a constant polynomial so 4 is a constant polynomial so is negative 16 by 3 and so on let me tell you what do we mean by a zero polynomial a zero polynomial is a special case of constant polynomial where the number is 0 so 0 represents a zero polynomial now let's see how do we denote these polynomials we usually use the variables p or q or r to denote polynomials for example a polynomial in the variable x can be written as p of x while a polynomial in the variable y can be written as p of y or it could also be q of y or r of y another polynomial in both variables x and y could be p of x comma y now let me give you an example of a polynomial which is in both x and y x square y plus y square plus 3y x this is a polynomial in both variables x and y but here in this chapter we lay our focus only on polynomials in one variable so that means you will only get one variable either y or x or z it could be any variable but it will just be one variable now that we know what terms of a polynomial mean let's look at what does a monomial mean we know that mono means one so a monomial is nothing but a polynomial with only one term so minus 4x cube is a polynomial with one term and hence is a monomial similarly plus 3 is a monomial 4x square is again a monomial let's look at what is a binomial so bi means 2 and hence a binomial is a polynomial with two terms so 4x cube minus 3 is a binomial x plus 1 is also a binomial 7x plus 3x cube is also a binomial now we look at 
what does a degree of a polynomial mean so a degree of a polynomial basically means the highest power of x or the highest power of the variable that's there in the polynomial for example in 4x cube plus 3x to the power 5 plus 7x to the power 7 minus 3 if this is a polynomial we can see that the power of x in the first term is 3 here it's 5 here it's 7 while here it's 0 so the highest power of the variable x here is 7 so degree of this polynomial is 7 so when I say that I have a polynomial which is x plus 4 here the highest power is x to the power 1 here the degree is nothing but 1 now a polynomial where its degree is 1 is known as a linear polynomial while a polynomial where the degree is 2 is known as a quadratic polynomial and when the degree is 3 we call it as a cubic polynomial now give me an example of a quadratic polynomial so x square plus 3x plus 4 is an example of a quadratic polynomial while for a cubic polynomial negative 7x cube plus 3x plus 1 is an example of a cubic polynomial so this is what we mean by the degree of a polynomial I hope we are all clear about what polynomials are what are the different types of polynomials in terms of the degree also in terms of the variables do they have just one variable or do they have multiple variables also we looked at polynomials in terms of the number of terms that are present in the polynomial like a monomial or a binomial so the next concept that we look at is what are zeros of a polynomial and how do we go about finding them bye